And continuing our back to school coverage now on this Wednesday morning. You know, as parents, it's our job to make sure our kids are safe and prepared for pretty much everything. We tend to worry about everything, right? <laughs> uh, so our kids don't have to. Recently spoke with Dr. Philip Chan, a local infectious disease specialist, about finally being back in school again under more normal circumstances. Putting us in a strong position to transition to local decision making on school masks. That was back in February, and a few weeks later, on March 4th, the statewide school mask mandate was lifted. And now every district back in session in the state, a normal return to class for the first time since August of 2019. I'm very excited about this school year. You know, I have a 15 and 11 year old myself. Dr. Philip Chan is an infectious disease specialist and the consulting medical director for the Department of Health. We've been living with COVID now for over two years. You know, we know what to do. The vibe, the positivity, the mindset probably different this year. Well, I just want kids to get back to normal. I think we all want things to get back to normal. So I think some reasonable precautions. Again, if you're sick, stay home, uh, get vaccinated, watch out for COVID symptoms. Many people still have questions about vaccines. Is it too late to still get one? If I've been vaccinated, when do I need a booster? Do I need a booster? And do my kids need to get boosted? It is complicated and there's a lot of guidance out there about different populations and who does what. Uh, I'm reassured though that if you go to the CDC website or the Department of Health website, there is up to date information out there. We have boosters coming out in September and October, updated boosters by Pfizer, by Moderna. I think that we'll see some updated recommendations as well. COVID has dominated the headlines for the last two and a half years. Now within the last few months, monkeypox has become another healthcare topic of concern. Monkeypox is something to be aware of. It's something that's not affecting the general public and not really affecting uh, kids or K through 12 schools at this time. So we're keeping a close eye on it. And to an even lesser extreme, polio. Although very rare, a case in an unvaccinated person was reported in New York State in July. Polio is a very, can be a very severe disease. The reassuring thing is that most people are asymptomatic or have mild symptoms. So the best thing you can do against polio Get vaccinated. Make sure you're vaccinated. Make sure your kids are vaccinated. <laughs> it's been a long last couple of years. I think, you know, for me, it's about treating everyone with kindness, respect, giving the kids a little bit of flexibility and teachers and parents, frankly.